Morris working to the front. Lowe tries to punch from behind. It's grabbed by Wheeler. Tries to break away with pace. Gets away a good hand pass to Brunton. On to Pike. Long kick to the forward line. First time the Blues have been up oh. there. Out into the forward pocket. Longmire behind. It's punched away by Frawley. And he finds the safety of the boundary line. St Kilda skipper Danny Frawley having the job on John Longmire. And Langford with the job on Carey. Craig Scholl, hold, Craig Scholl holding as the ball came into his vicinity. Carey forced to do the ruck work up against Steins. Coleman from the back. Ball comes around the back to Knights, but he's brilliantly dispossessed. Trying to get through Steins. Hannah, Ruse playing a terrific roll across half back, already having an impact. Kicks to a vacant half forward region. Ball bounces. Out comes Ablett. Well tackled by Gafer, was he? Holding the ball. Dendy was in possession. Doing well there, Michael Gaper. Watch Albert dropping the ball. The ball really in his possession. New South Wales get clear of half back. Out towards the wing. Is that a mark? Yes, it's been paid to the Victorian vice captain Gavin Brown. Poor effort by Coleman. Kick by Brown up towards half forward. No marking whatsoever by New South Wales. Knights uncontested. Left footer goes long for the goal line. He's... It bounces through! <laughs> He's playing in one the West the... Australian League for Perth. I was just going to say, one of the forgotten men, initially, he was in the initial squad for the Eagles when it was formed. Barrage from 45 metres. Good effort. New South Wales first goal. Well, they look as if they're starting to get their act together. And that man on screen there, Crawford, playing a terrific game. He's cut off. He's got down on the back line. He got that one across to Crawford. Here it is now, the build-up. Here's Crawford across to Barrage. A good pass. And as I said, Barrage, one of the forgotten men of AFL football, was an original eagle. Now playing in the local domestic competition. Well, it's just five points to difference. Victoria 2-1. New South Wales ACT, a one goal two. Goal kicker for New South Wales is Barrage for Victoria, Knights and Salmon. Good bounce back in the centre. Steins. Now a chance for Ruse. He can't get clear. Nathan Burke, a little kick. Lambert quickly, hand pass over the top, looking for Anna. Anna loves to run with the ball. He gets clear, but he's been tripped, surely. Grabbed by the leg, which wasn't all that bad. Coming from Allison. Hannah's kick into the pocket. And Ruse, where's Ruse playing? Donnick's half back. Kicks all over the ground. Must be Ruck Roby. No, half back. Half back. Boy, geez, well, this is what he does in the terrible. club games, too. Well, he goes for goal with a long kick. And just misses to the left hand side. The man who's got a big job out there is uh, Coleman. Glenn Coleman, he's the only big man in the New South Wales side as far as the Ruckman goes. And he could have Steins or he could have Salmon. Well, there's six defenders up there for Victoria and Ruse is not one of them. So he must be a Ruck Rover or a roving centre man or something. At centre bounces, he's out on the wing side of the square with Wheeler as opponent. Just a bit of a surprise having Wheeler. He might have thought all week he was going to have Carey. Here's Barrett's going all right. Left footer, a high ball close to the boundary line. 24 is Longmire. And in front, a good mark has been taken by Hurd. Has this boy come on? He centres. A chance, Tui. Should have taken the mark. Scholl, good hand pass to Knights. And that might have been a New South Wales goal had Tui taken the mark. And now Victoria on the rebound. Through Burke. Scholl had kept going. It's caught by Crawford. The hand pass untidy as a result. Very lucky to get out of that, Victoria. They're over, overdoing the handball. Wheeler coming off. Wheeler coming off and coming on is Mark Roberts, New South Wales. An interesting move when Wheeler came on after a minute, went on to Ruse, and Ruse has had a bit of a pick. Here's Coleman. And Mark well Roberts is going down to pick up Ruse. Murphy over the top, Chris Danaher and Russell Morris has run nicely from half back. Kick towards full forward, no mark taken. And it gets back. Gathers quite nicely. Sweeping hand pass Langford. Back to Hannah. Hannah gives it off again. Robert Scott. In turn, back near the centre. Brown. 
Brown goes straight towards goal. The ball will land at centre-half forward. That should be a free kick to the man in front, Coleman, against Ruiz, who put his hand on Coleman's shoulder to try and launch himself into the air. It's an interesting move, uh, Roberts going on to... He has played well in state games before, or previously, Powell. But they've had some costly turnovers, New South Wales. Well, Terry Danaher and Alan Jeans with a few problems. Coleman can't get through. Oh, player diving after it there was Kelly. Ball comes clear now. Opportunity for Murphy. And he's going to get a free kick. Now, David Murphy is playing with a lot of fire. Kicking towards half forward, Mark is taken by Mark Roberts. I wonder if he is now playing on that half forward line, Mark Roberts, because this is where he plays for North Melbourne, his club side. But the player who got that out to Murphy was James Hurd. Now, James Hurd doesn't need too many touches of the ball, but what he does do is terrific stuff. And he set Murphy up on his way there, and he's a player with a lot of class, that young fellow from Canberra. Important kick for New South Wales. Roberts goes for goal and misses to the right-hand side. Mark Roberts, who kicked one of the biggest goals we've seen this year at this ground about two weeks ago against Carlton from about the point of the square, and it sailed through at about three-quarter post height. Must have been too close that time. Smith kicks in and finds Burke. Longmire and Carey haven't had a kick between them yet, and we're about five minutes into the second quarter. Langford is doing the job on Wayne Carey. That's a dreadful kick. Oh, just inside the line. Mark taken by Burke. He must have known something then. I thought it was floating into the crowd. Over centre wing. Spills to the back. Powell. He'll take a free kick. Tim Powell. He's had only two games for Carlton this year. Up to centre half forward, it's though he gave it straight to the opposition, Ross Smith. This is what New South Wales are doing. They're picking out the Victorian opposition. It looked like it's intentional, but they're turning the ball over so easily. Good steal there by Ross Smith. Standing in front of the pack. The ball comes to the back now. Brownless has a chance to clear for the New South Wales ACT side. Kicks towards half forward. No mark taken. Smith up, but got his foot to the ball, which may have been important. Barrage presses his way through. Tries to gather. Does. But he's taken over. And we'll have a throw in left half forward for the New South Wales side. About 95 metres around from their goal. So it's two kicks from goal. Coleman, chance for Lambert. What a magnificent hand pass. Into the path of Brown. He's setting it up. Scott, wider still for Burke. Burke, short pass into the full forward area. Punched away by Anthony Danaher. Rock leaves it for Scott. Scott's little kick smothered off the boot of Brunton. Scott off the ground again. He does score, but it's just a behind to Victoria. His first score of the night, Robert Scott. He's been quite lively with five kicks and four hand passes. And Victoria proceed. They're 7-6. New South Wales ACT are two goals, three. Danaher, not too sure. Goes slightly towards the outer side. Steins is there. He punches to the front. It goes to Knights. It's good to Burke. He lines up the goals, Burke, and kicks a goal. And there he is, Nathan Burke. Did particularly well early in the season as a rival to St Kilda, playing on the win today. That's where he made his name. They're really not working anything here in New South Wales. Stein's bringing it down well. And there's Burke on the end of that. Knight's hand pass. Goes in for his first. Stein's gets the ball down, but it's Don Pike. Now James Hurd. High. Up towards half forward, but well played by Langford. I'll be making a few moves, Ian. I'd get uh, Longmire to centre-half back, put Brownless up forward, try something. Ross Smith receiving the hand pass, kicks it high. Hurd is in there again with Gavin Brown. Could even try moving Carey down to full forward, Longmire out to centre-half forward. Because they're not yes. doing any of them, they're just not involved at all. And they're important players. Yep. Bounce the ball on centre wing. Lambert forced...